today I'm going to teach you how to make a timeline on Choreograph. So first what you need to do is right click into the flow diagram panel and then you go to clear the new box and you go timeline because that's what we're making today. And then you can name it. I'm going to name mine dance and just a description if you want it but I'm not going to do that and you can put in an image which I'm not going to do either. So go OK and the dance bit will be in the flow diagram panel and then you double click on it and I'm going to go uh, maybe five and I'm going to go, sorry, you need to right click at the bottom bit where the lines are, store joints and keyframe, whole body because I want his whole body to be doing that. And then maybe at 25, I will go, wait, not yet, still be there. And then, so I'll get his this arm, his right arm, and I'm going to make it go up forward. Not too forward, like that, and in a bit maybe. Go the other way. Yeah, and then I'm going to get, go to 20, 30 actually. And I'm going to go store joints and keyframe. And that's in the arm because I just want his arm. And then I'm going to get his left arm to do the same thing. So it's going to go up. About there. And like that. That's good enough. And then I'll go to maybe um, 55. And I'll go still doing some keyframe arms again. And now I'll go, I'm going to make his right arms go up into the air. All the, oh, wrong way. All the way up. Which may be there. And then I'm going to go to 80. And I'm going to still doing some keyframe arms. And then I go next one, I'm going to make his, this arm go up again as well. So up, and more up. And then I go move along. And I will go to 105. And you can do it a bit closer, depends what you're doing. But because I want mine to be a bit spread out, the more further apart it was, the it is, then the less fast it will go. So I tried this out before and I only did it 10 and it went really fast and I just didn't know what was going on. So I'm doing it again with a bit more spread out. So I'll go store joints and keyframe and again with the arms. Now I will, now I want both his arms to go down at the same time. So get his arms to go all the way down. Just like that and maybe a bit yeah like that and his other arm as well to do that so then I don't need to do them both because I want them to go down at the same time so I do that and then bring his shoulder out a bit not too much and then I will go store joints in keyframe at 130 um, and I just want the arms and now I'm going to get its left, his left leg to go up like this. So I just want it to go up. Just like that. And then go store joints in keyframe at 155. And store joints in keyframe in the legs. And then I'll get, um, I'll go to 180, wait no, first I need to bring the arm forward and I want his arm to go right and like touching his toes sort of, so like that. And then I'll go store joints and keyframe, whole body because it's arms and legs, so I'm going to go whole body, whole body. And then I will bring do the same. I put the arm and leg down, but so I bring that leg down. I bring the leg down, and then I'm gonna bring his arm down as well. 
So bring his arm down. And then I'm going to store the joints and keyframes so they go down at the same time. Um, store joints and keyframes. Um, whole body. Now I'm going to bring his leg up. So, like this. No, not like that. Oops. This one. Bring his leg up. Oh, no. It's not right. Um, this one. To bring his leg up. No. Um, no. And that didn't work, so now I'm just going to finish with the arms out. No, not like that. Yeah, like that maybe. And then I'm going to get his shoulders to go all the way out. So his arms are going to be like out on the side. And still joints in keyframe at 230. Um whole body and then I'm just going to finally do the other arm to go up and then oops not that far up and then out like the, the other arm is doing and then I'll just store joints in keyframe at 255 oops there and store joints in keyframe whole body and then now let's let's just see how it turns out. So root, and then let's apply from the start. Oh, I need to connect the noodles. And let's see. So that's pretty cool and that's how you make a timeline. Thanks, bye!